He packed with Chirac. Check out what Rollo got to say. They been rapping about this shit and motivating me to buy more dope and more bricks. <laughs> I mean, these niggas send our whole generation up a fade. Right. No, I, don't, I can't listen to them because I know for a fact none of them were moving no bricks. And I know what it come with because it come with jail. It come with jail of hell, jail of death. It's right. impossible. It's almost <laughs> impossible to sell. You heard what he said. It's impossible to go that long selling drugs and never get caught before. These guys are lying. Jeezy never sold no bricks. He probably sold a little something. He talking about BMF and Big Meech, what he saw. We came to Atlanta in 1993. All they had was garbage brown weed, Bobby Brown. Gotti, he turned three old in the six. That's going to be garbage. It's not going to sell. They're lying. They're talking about other people they saw and expect us to believe it. And they sell records off of this. And most of these kids in suburban of America believe this. Here we go, Rollo. Drugs for that long period of time and rap about selling it. Right. And not get caught. I did interviews talking about drugs and them folk been on my ass. I had to make sure I don't sell no drugs. If you was doing this for this long, we'll have some kind of um, pictures on the internet saying you got incarcerated for this amount of drugs. And you heard what he said. If you selling that long, you gonna have a rap sheet. I even got a rap sheet. And I wasn't rolling that hard. They put a little something on me and tightened me up. You ain't never heard of Jeezy going to jail. Yo Gotti, Jay-Z, Rick Ross, fat self. I know I'm not body shaming anyone. He was a fat C.O. Go, Rollo. Like, like they do me. They always go on my pictures and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Rollo was locked up for this. Rollo was locked up for that. So, like, right. they're going to send me to prison for the rest of my life. And they've been rapping about this shit and motivating me to buy more dope and more bricks. Don't follow these guys. You younger generations, do not follow these guys. They were not moving any work. Faison Love said, Jay-Z was just eating out of potato chip bag. <laughs> Looking around, I'm going to do it like that. Yeah, I'm going to say it like that. Here we go. Come on. I mean, these niggas send our whole generation up a phase. Right. No, I, don't. I can't listen to them because I know for a fact none of them were moving no bricks. And I know... What it come with, because it come with jail. It come with jail of hell, jail of death. It's right. impossible. It's almost <laughs> impossible to sell drugs for that long period of time and rap about selling it right. and not get caught. I did interviews talking about drugs, and them folk been on my ass. I had to make sure I don't sell no drugs. If you was doing this for this long, we'll have some kind of um, pictures on the internet saying you got incarcerated for this amount of drugs or like, like they do me, they always go on my pictures and shit. <laughs> Rollo was locked up for this, Rollo was locked up for that. So, like, you know what Rollo said? You guys listen to him. He's not lying, because I know none of these guys who never hustled. Atlanta was just the place where celebrities moved to to find cheaper and bigger houses, man. When I was down there, I saw Jeezy in a raggedy Chevy with a raggedy blue dicky center on where the hat broke off to the right claiming something. It's G-Pack and Chirac, and I'm out.